Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. We're coming to you live from Beaver Creek, where I am speaking with Michelle Maloney of the Vale Charitable Fund. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Claire. It's so nice to see you this morning. It is, and it's a chilly morning. It's a little nippy out here, but it's so gorgeous. It is, and it's going to warm up. Um, we were just talking about the leaves are starting to change, so we're, we're kind of getting into the fall, and one great way to kick that off is with Oktoberfest. Yes, it'll be great. So the Vail Valley Charitable Fund is hosting the Oktoberfest Shuffle. It'll be September 3rd right here in Beaver Creek. Um, you get to go through the mountains, go up Alley's Way, go over by um, um, Village to Village, and with your entry, you get a free brat, free beer, and you support a great nonprofit. So it's a win-win all the way around. Absolutely. So you've got three different races. What time do things kick off, and what are the three different races? So that'll start at 10 a.m. We've okay. got a 10K, um, so for those really avid athletes, a 5K for those who want to take it a little easier. And then there's a fun run for um, kids. It's free, six and under. It's just a 1K run around the village. And then after that, you'll you know get to go have your brat and enjoy the great music and all the entertainment here in the village. And I think Pete Petrovsky's Petrovsky was saying that they he gets the kids to chase him through the village. He does. He acts like, you know, he's the rabbit that everyone chases. So it should be a great day. And the Vail Valley Charitable Fund helps Vail Valley residents that are struggling financially due to a medical crisis. So it's a great way to help our valley and get out and get healthy and see a beautiful, a beautiful surrounding. So the Vail Valley Charitable Fund has been around for a long time, I understand. We have. This is our 21st year. So in that time, we've donated um, um, do grants to over 1,400 folks and donated more than $7 million. So we're a small organization with a pretty big punch. And that's incredible. And all of this money is raised here in the Valley and then spent here in the Valley. Exactly. We, we support Vail Valley residents right here in our community. And this started from you know, one person's very personal experience really triggered this entire organization. It did. There was a young woman, Cindy Nash, who had esophageal cancer, and she had a one-year-old, and some friends really wanted to help her husband, Kurt, trying to take care of, of Montana and Cindy as she was ill, and she lost her battle. But from that battle came this organization where we really work to be a, a bridge for folks that are struggling. A medical crisis can throw a family upside down really quickly. So we work to let those folks get back on their feet and enjoy life here the valley. Now is this your primary uh, fundraiser for the year? We have four events throughout the summer. So we have two triathlons and two trail runs. It's kind of ironic that we're this health organization, but it that ends up in events. But um, we're really thankful to the Beaver Creek Resort Company that um, they host this and we're the beneficiary of this event. Slifer Smith and Frampton is our pr uh, presenting sponsor. So and we have um, Shaw Electric and we're really fortunate to have some long-term sponsors that work with us. Centura yeah. Health. I think that really goes actually really well with the organization because you are helping out people in a health crisis, mm -hmm. but this is a community that's really focused on like being healthy, yeah. being outdoors. Mm -hmm. That's so true. And so it, it does make sense and it's a good partnership and, and things like Beaver Creek Resort Company and the Hiking Center all come together to work with us so that we can you know help all these folks that are struggling. And, and medical crisis doesn't know any boundaries. It's anybody can be affected by a medical crisis. Absolutely. So how many how many runners are you expecting this weekend? Um, well, the first 225 folks will get a great outdoor sports hat that has the Oktoberfest shuffle. So we're looking for somewhere in the neighborhood of 200. And how do people, do they go to your website? How do they register? They can go to vvcf.org and register online. Or and if you don't register ahead of time, you can register the morning of. Great. Thank you so much, Michelle. You, and I hope to see you this weekend at Oktoberfest. Yes, We're going to take it over to Ashley. She's got your weather forecast, let you know how to plan your day.